Because there are so many different combinations you can have to make a mixture, you can combine elements together physically. You could divide combine compounds together physically. You can combine elements and compounds together in the same container. Just about everything you could possibly imagine, you throw two things together and you suddenly have a mixture. So scientists break this down into just a couple more categories for that mixture category. You can have a homogeneous mixture Homogeneous mixtures are also called solutions. Or you can have heterogeneous mixtures. For homogeneous mixtures, that's when you have even distribution of your chemicals. in the mixture. Basically one sample size is going to match the next sample of that mixture. Uh, a common example of a homogeneous mixture might be Coca-Cola. You take one sip of a can of Coke and then you take a second sip of a can of Coke the first sip is going to taste exactly like the second sip because the ingredients that make up Coca-Cola are evenly distributed. It's not like the sugar sinks to the bottom and all the water in the can of Coca-Cola floats to the top. Everything's kind of evenly mixed. When you have a heterogeneous mixture, that's when you have an uneven distribution of your chemicals. In the mixture. So the most common example of a heterogeneous mixture you might have would be like a garden salad. When you take one bite of your garden salad, you might get a crouton, a cucumber, and a piece of lettuce in one bite, maybe a tomato in the next. There's no official definition of what has to be in each bite of your garden salad. The ingredients that make up a garden salad are unevenly distributed.